Seriously speaking, Busola, is it because you speak about grief and death and bereavement things that you've been losing quite a number of people these days? You want to give that a thought? Well, that was my friend, my very good friend who said that to me and... What was my response? No, I don't think so. It's really not so. Yeah, those thoughts assail me. Yeah, those thoughts come to me at times too. And I say, hmm, I'm going to speak about what I'm going to speak about because death is just a part of life. We live and we die, right? People die every day. Come on, you think about it. In recent times, past six months, one year, you must know somebody who has lost a loved one. That's it. So we have to speak about it because death is just as much a part of life as birth, graduation, wedding, just as much a part of life's happening. And yeah, people, we need to get comfortable speaking about it because it would happen and because it happens every day around us. We need to prepare our minds, prepare for it. Prepare that we die, prepare that people around us will die. We really can't be fully prepared for it. No matter how much we see it coming, we can't be fully prepared for it. But Preparing our minds that will die and that people around us will die helps us put our mind in a state of well, that's how it's always been and that's how it's going to be. People are going to live, people are going to die, people will be born, people will die and it helps us not to ask when it happens, why me? Why now? Why did God allow it to happen? back to my discussion with my friend and if you have been on this channel you know that i've not had a video on laws death bereavement in a long while is it because of what she said no no things on this channel happen in series and it just wasn't time and um, it happened to me again loss my dad, my first Prince Charming, my first hero, my first most intelligent man in the whole wide world, yeah, he died at the age of 85. And when I use those words about my dad, it's not just cliche. If you were privileged to be with us during the life tribute session on YouTube here. You'd have heard many others say that and also at the wake keep and it's just on everybody's tongue. He was a consistent man. We loved him. I adored my dad and no, I didn't want him to go. I miss him. But that's the way of all of us. If you were not privileged to watch to join us in that live tribute session you can still go and watch it it's there it's here on this channel you just go to the live section and it will be there and i'll drop the link in the description in my book i suggested you do three things think about it talk about it prepare act about it Think that someone you love will die. Think about the fact that you, who are loved by many people, will die. So think about it. Talk about it. Take action. Take action. Let's not keep saying it's morbid. We can't speak about it. No. It's important to speak about it. And I'll share a personal story here where I come from, Nigeria. Reverend, when we lose an old person, we we mourn, of course. 
but we celebrate. We celebrate that we, the children, are alive to beat the person fair with. And our friends come around to celebrate with us. And what does that entail? You cook, you feast, you dance. Yes. You shed tears. Of course, you miss the person, but it's also a time to celebrate. And people will be telling you, congratulations, congratulations. You still are alive to bury your parents or your older ones. We talk about it. We talk about these things in our family. So we've had discussions. Our parents are old. We need to put money aside and prepare for the feasting that goes with it. Yeah, we sit around as family and we talk about these things and we make preparations. So my dad passed and when this happened, two of my brothers and the wife of one of them had gone home to visit my parents from the different countries where they live. And they were just about leaving Nigeria when they got news, that's gone. What to do? I imagine one of them traveling all the way back to the UK and two of them all the way back to Canada. And then they start preparing and making the trip back, finding time off work and all of the things that would be required for such a trip. But no, we didn't have to do that. Because we had been preparing our minds, we had been talking about it, talking about funeral things, talking about financial matters and saying get yourself ready anybody that has old people know that they will die and so we no, that's what we used to say to one another yeah we're seven siblings and we used to say that to one another and we say prepare okay we need we we'll probably need to, to, to amount roughly so get yourself ready get yourself and so when it happened we could quickly decide that Hey guys, before you travel back to your different countries, let us have the burial done. And so my dad passed on a Monday and Friday, we started the funeral rites with the wake keep and all the other things we needed to do. And by Saturday, we had everything done. All the feasting and everything was done, done and well done. No, I'm not the one saying it. I've had comments and messages from people saying, even if you prepared for it for three months, it couldn't have been better done than what you did in five days. That's part of the place of preparation. Preparation of mind and preparation in terms of what is required. Where you know what is required where you live, in your place, prepare. Talk about it with people you need to talk about it with and take action. And when I say talk about it, think about it, a lot of times if such thoughts come to our mind, I say, no, I don't want to think about that kind of thing. It's morbid. It's, oh, no, 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 God forbid. God forbid what? Something that's going to happen. I think it's time we stop, we stop saying that and just move ahead with how life has been planned. That people, people are born, people live, and people Think about it. Yes, give time to think about it. Talk about death. Talk about it with the people you love, the people in your life, and take action. What action can you take? Many actions. But just remember that people in your life are here for a while and they'll be gone. You too will be gone. Be so to them who you would want them to remember you for. Now, thinking about relate how we relate with people in our lives when a friend or family member comes to visit you and you know it's just for a brief period and you don't know when you're going to see them again how do you relate to them you're going to love on them lavish everything you can on them right make sure that they're very comfortable while they're with you because you don't know when you know you have an idea they will you know they will leave in this case of death it's only we don't know when they will leave, but we know that they will leave. So why don't you why don't you give them that special care and attention every day and you'll be happy you are doing so and you'll be happy you did. So always remember death 
is a part of life. I keep saying it's a part of life because it's not the end of life. There is more life after death. And that's another thing you need to prepare for if you haven't prepared. And if you have prepared, you need to stay prepared. And how do you prepare for the life after death? Give your life to Jesus Christ. He came to give his life for you so that you can be in heaven when you die, so that you can be qualified to go into the presence of God, to keep living eternally with God. Heaven is real. Hell is real. And there is a choice every one of us has to make. Have you made that choice? If you are wondering how, I've just said it. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. You can say it just now as I'm saying it. Come and be king in my life. Forgive me my sins. I don't want to live the way I like any longer. I want you to be the king of my life and direct me. Show me how to live and I want to live for you. And it's done. He forgives you your sin and he makes you right. If you've just done that, congratulations. That's a big step to take. What you then need to do is look for a church around you where the Bible is preached and go tell them this is what I've done and they will help you in your journey of faith. And if you want to be in touch with me, you can send me an email at the email address on the screen now and it would also be in the description section. Tell me about it and we can talk about it. In the next couple of videos, I ask you to come along as I chat with friends about loss and how they've coped, how they are currently managing with grief. Come along, it's going to be real and I tell you, there's not going to be any dull moment. So it's not going to be any grim thing. It's going to be a time of people sharing their stories in a real way that you can connect. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when this content come up and other contents, you'll be notified. If you like what's going on here today, share, share with your friends and connections. Leave your comments too. You know they are always welcome. And thank you. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, bye.